Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Gym Master Show Live. How are all of you? It's good to see all those smiley faces I see there poised and ready for some inspiring conversation, amazing entertainment. Today, a little Irish crack coming your way as my uh, fantastic longtime friend, the talented singer, songwriter, musician, you know, from Celtic Thunder, Byrne and Kelly, and of course, his solo work as well. Neil Byrne is with us live from Ireland. That's right. He's joining us in just a second. Little uh, slight confusion, the daylight savings time here in the United States, we change the clocks uh, forward an hour, but in Ireland, not the case. <laughs> so he is here and we're so excited and nice to see all the happy faces. We were chatting uh, backstage on our YouTube channel at Gym Masters TV with so many of our faithful lovety viewers. If you're just joining us for the first time, I'm your host, Jim Masters. This is our daily live entertainment lifestyle talk show series. We've done about 366 episodes plus, maybe 370 episodes live now of our daily entertainment lifestyle talk show series where we're bringing back the lost art of conversation and we're blending it with a modern vibe and twist of today. We have guests that come in from Broadway and Hollywood, television, film, music, culinary arts, sports, comedy, inspiration authors, you name it. And um, this work I do actually in the real world professionally as a television and radio personality and presenter, host, journalist, actor, writer, producer, stage MC, voiceover artist. And uh, we have a great time on the show. The show is uh, a place for good times, lovity. Everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter your zip code, your gender, your political views, your income, your height, your weight, your eye color. Uh, none of it. Everybody is welcome here to have a good time. We always learn something new and we're always connected. We have an international audience as well that joins us here on the Gym Masters Show Live. And we welcome everybody all across the United States, Canada, uh, Europe, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Arctic Circle, wherever you're watching. And we hear from all over and we thank you very much. Thanks for all the sharing and the tagging and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We would love that if you haven't done that yet because we do this uh, broadcast series daily. Neil Byrne was on with us uh, a few months back in the summertime. If you didn't see that episode, uh, that was an epic episode. Feel free to check that out. And if you like some of the Irish artists, uh, Phil Coulter was a guest on the show. Sir James Galway and Lady Jean Galway was on the show. Uh, Oscar Blue, Connor McGinty, Damien McGinty, Keith Harkin, Rebecca Harkin, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> George Hutton was on the show. Roy Buckley was on the show. Uh, Chloe Agnew, uh, Mened Nesbitt was on the show twice. Matter of fact, she was on uh, last weekend with us as well. Orla Fallon has been here as a special guest on the show as well. Uh, Keith Harkin has been with us. Um, Paul Byram has been with us as well and uh, many, many more. So you can check all those past episodes uh, on our YouTube channel and uh, any of the episodes because our episodes are really amazing. They're quite unique. We get into some really inspiring conversations. We have amazing entertainment. And of course, we always greet everybody. Today, usually in the evening, I have something a little fancier. Tonight, we also have a, an amazing guest. We have Oscar winning and Golden Globe winning actor, George Kiris on the show, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. He starred in the 
movie, West Side Story with Rita Moreno. Yes, that's him. And White Christmas and Jennifer, Gentlemen Before uh, Blondes. And also uh, There's No Business Like Show Business. He is an epic dancer and actor. He's on tonight. But in the meantime, hey, welcome everybody. Some Irish crack coming your way. I'm Irish on my father's mother's side. And do we toast all of you, you and you and you. We always do that here on the show. And we've just got a little coffee in here today. We'll do something a little bit more maybe stiffer this evening on tonight's show. Let's say a quick hello to some of the viewers here. Uh, wow, I see so many people. This is so, there are so many people that are here chatting that actually it doesn't even scroll all the way to the beginning. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is I'm going to welcome Neil on the show and then we will show some of your comments as we go along. Neil's a great friend. Again, the very first time, this is his second visit on the show and we love having him on with us here. We always have a, a great time. Uh, Neil and I first met way back when uh, Celtic Thunder came over to the United States uh, and they launched on PBS, public television here in America. And I was tasked as a host to interview Neil, as well as all the guys from Celtic Thunder in the studio live when Celtic Thunder was brand new. And again, here's some quick shots. Uh, we showed these last time. There's Keith and Neil joining me. And I was introducing them uh, one of the first times here in the United States on public television. And we had such a great time. We all look the same, which is quite amazing. <laughs> Nothing changes. <clears throat> Here we are, of course, with George Donaldson. That's a you know classic treasure picture. Here's with all the guys from Celtic Thunder as well. And my co-host, uh, they've got uh, Colm and Damien, and there's Neil and myself and my co-host Lee and Emmett O'Hanlon, Keith Harkin, of course, Ryan Kelly. Ryan was a guest on our show as well uh, recently. And this was a more recent shot when they were performing on stage when we were able to do that. And uh, I did introductions and welcomed them on stage here in the United States. Uh, always cool to have them on the show. Uh, have known Neil for a long time. He's uh He's a great guy. He's um, very, very talented and he's very funny and he gives a lot of himself and uh, he's going to do that right now with all of us. So we're really excited to have him live from Ireland. Busy day for Neil joining us here on the Gym Master Show Live. Neil, welcome to the show. Good to have you with us, my friend. How's it going, hey. Jim? And hey. hello to High everybody five. watching. <laughs> High five. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so how are you? Crazy busy day today, right? A good day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was, yeah, very busy today. Um, a couple of interviews today, you know, um, a bit of mix up with time. Is it this daytime thing? Well, what's the crack with that, Jim? I haven't a clue. That thing just creeps up every year when there's interviews on and it's like there's all this commotion, you know, we don't know where we are with it, you know, it's an hour here and an hour there. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I just we freaked out there. And what was even worse, when when I got when I got the call and say, oh, you should be on now, it was like, no, I'm down for seven o'clock. It's only it's only six twenty here, you know. And then it just went, oh my god, it must have been a clock change. Um, then when I logged onto my computer to add to my stress, um, my Safari wouldn't load up the page and was going, no, you need another uh, uh, search engine or um, like Chrome or something like that. So I went down like to don't download Chrome as well. Anyway, listen, I've made it here now. You are here, and that is the bottom line. You That's made it. bottom line. You, you made it through heck and high water, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know the time change is strange. The, uh, I know. We, we turn the clocks ahead. I don't, I forgot when they started that here. I know not everybody does it. I don't think they do it in Arizona here as well, but, and some countries do it later on. Uh, they do it to give us extra daylight. Yes which you know so it gets the sun goes down later and we get yeah. to be outside later and play around more so <laughs> but it does foil things during that adjustment period because we just did it like a week or so ago where we put those clocks ahead so here it's already uh like it's like 2 30 but which would be normally 7 30 for you but it's 6 30 there now right very true. That's yeah. Very true. So yes. have you had dinner yet or no? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't had dinner yet, you know. You're going you're gonna to have a good dinner after this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, with me now, priority is to put the babs down first, you know. So the, the, the babs goes down at about 7.30 and then, uh, yeah. then it's time for dinner, you know. Time for a bit of bus time. 
Absolutely. So how have you been, my friend, since we chatted last? You were a guest on yeah. the Jim Master Show live back in the summertime, and we had an epic time, lots of Irish crack, and you played live for us, and we really caught up uh, since we saw each other last, which was probably on stage when I introduced you guys on stage, Celtic Thunder on stage, because prior to that, you know, we've known each other for years, ever since Celtic Thunder first came over to the States. And I uh, had the pleasure of interviewing you guys and it was amazing. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can't, I can't believe that just seems like yesterday. It seems like, a, you know, a few months ago when you, when you close your eyes and think of that time. And even when you, you're talking about the last interview that we did was, it was really enjoyable and it, yet again it only seems like a couple of months ago i think the last just at that time just before that interview was when we came back from the states and when all kind of hell broke loose and then it was all locked down everywhere you know mm -hmm. it was a very strange time and especially for us musicians it was like we were twiddling our thumbs basically what are we going to do type of thing but like I'm I'm happy to say now I've I've actually I've never been busier in all my life. It's actually it's been quite hectic. Try to balance everything. As you know, Celtic Thunder, we've been doing the home series of documentaries, which has been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. But it's like it's like two months of research. Yes. One and we deliver five nights of documentaries and all you know and it's 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 something completely new to us but i tell you jim it's been absolutely wonderful and the uh the supporters and fans out there have just been incredible they seem to have been you know really really enjoying this and so have we so between that and recording and arranging songs and writing music even music for those uh some of the scenes um has really kept me busy and i know the lads are the same too um producing some music for other people in the studio as well. And then learning to become a father has been my ultimate priority. So trying to balance all of these things as well, you know, has been a, a real challenge to be honest, but I have to say, I'm very, very lucky to have such positivity to, to connect with, you know? Absolutely. It's a whole new uh, way of looking at everything, isn't it now? Like you say, doing some of the, documentaries tell us a little bit about that that's kind of cool it's something a little bit different because you guys are used to obviously being on the stage and those days will come back once they figure out how they're going to do it and how the venues can accommodate everybody and the social distancing and all the things they have to do but with the documentaries that's something new since uh, we chatted last tell us a little bit about yeah. that very cool well you know it it, it started when our, our um production manager mark He's, he's a fantastic guy that um, he, he has great work ethic. And he was saying, guys, you know what? He said, we can't be out on the road, obviously. We don't know when we're, we'll be able to get back out on the road and do what we do. He said, but, you know, there's a lot to be said for the years we have been doing it. And he said, maybe we could kind of document that and put it out on the stage at platform. He said, maybe we could, we could put the idea out there and see what folks think. And there was so much positivity that came back to us saying, we'd love to see this. This, this would be great. So we did it. And we and it was all about the years of Celtic Thunder. And it was like the Neil Knight, the Ryan Knight, the Damien Knight, the Emmett Knight. And uh, it was so much fun going back through the archives and, and B-roll footage, some of the bigs, our biggest songs, the ensembles, people that have, have come and gone through the show. Mm. It was, it was really great. It was fantastic. We, we, it was just a great vibe through the whole thing. And folk at home seemed to really, really love it and enjoy it. So after that, I was going, God, why don't we do another one? Yeah. Maybe another one. So we started meeting uh, on a regular basis, have a meeting every, every week. And we've been doing it ever since and talking about content. And then it started to become, okay, well, may, maybe we, there's a lot to document and talk about interesting subjects within Ireland and stuff that we've been singing about for years, but maybe we don't know the full depths to all these stories and history and folklore and all that type of thing. And since we've got stuck into it, we've done, I think we're on our seventh, and um, wow. we're towards our seventh um, stage, uh, stages. And um, it's been, it's just been so good. It's been really, really fun making it. It's been a, a lot of hard work has gone into it, to be honest, you know, because 
you don't want to just put something out there on the surface. You want to get behind it. You want to get the deep meanings behind things, you know, and and uh, put it across right for people and and hopefully. So they have every we've every chance that they're going to enjoy this, you know. So that's what we've been doing, Jim, and it's 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 really been a, a tonic. It has hard work but a tonic and something really new and lovely. And it gives us ideas all the time about writing new music, about different topics like that too, you know? So, uh, yeah, it's it's been fantastic, thank God. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Really, something different. See, when something happens, like what's happened in the world, we all come up with different ways to still create and connect and, and to pivot, which we literally have all had to do, right? Yes, absolutely. We've, we've had to find different things, you know? And uh, I, I, I really do count our blessings because I, I know so many musicians and people in different occupations, you know, that just are, are not working, you know. We've been very lucky that we've we've managed to get something like this. And uh, for myself, with studio work as well, I, I arrange and... Um, arrange songs for songwriters and, and uh, That's record, cool. record them in my studio. If they want to say, pitch certain songs to publishers, they'll send them to me and I'll dress them up and sing them in and play the instruments and arrange it and send it back to them. And, and I've been doing a lot of that, which I, I enjoy that too, you know, but like everything that I'm doing is so time consuming. That's the thing, you know? And uh, as I said, my, my, um, my, Priority is my my little girl, you know, Floor, you know, to to spend time with her. And in a in a in a strange way, the um the lockdown has had its a, a big mercy for me in that way, you know. Uh, I see you have the picture of her there, yeah. Like at the cuties there, huh? Yes, that's <laughs> yes, down at down on uh um Courtown Beach there, yeah. It's a it's a lovely little area down there. It's it's really, really nice. We walk along there sometimes, you know. She loves the she loves the seaside. But uh, yeah, it's 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 allowed me be with my my daughter every single day, you know, since she's been here. So it's uh, that's been a real blessing. It really has, you know. See, so. Yeah, because a lot of times normally you would be on the road, you'd be touring, you'd be you know doing meets and greets, all the different things that you have to do. Maybe even filming, you know, uh, new episodes of of Celt Celtic Thunder specials, of course, on yep. the road with. Uh, your buddy Ryan with uh, Vernon Kelly as well. So that, you know, is, uh, takes time as well to prepare those shows. So here you get a chance to spend some time while still being connected with those who matter most uh, in your world, your your loving family, right? And that's that's been a fringe benefit. A lot of people I've chatted with on this series and in my professional work in TV and radio have been telling me that. They're like, you know, I miss the the... the touring or the this or the that but at the same time it's allowed me to breathe it's allowed me to do some things i've wanted to do that i haven't been able to do it's allowed me to spend time with my family it's also allowed me to explore a little bit about myself some of the things that i like to do some of the you know what do i want to do next with my life my career my passions and i'm sure you've even thought about some of that along the way as well right Oh, it does. It's an amazing thing. It actually does. That's why it opens your mind to other things. And like I said, so many friends of mine, you know, that have been in, in uh, different occupations are taking career changes. So like it's, it, you know, it's been it's been a, a, a strange and a different ride for, for, for different people for different reasons, you know. My heart goes out to the people that are are, are are finding it extremely difficult because the the, the carpet was pulled from underneath their yes. careers, and it's not as easy just to when you when you're trained up in a certain career and it's 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 pretty much gone for now. You know what do you do? And then it's a it's a financial problem, and even more so, it can be really heartbreaking for for people that are living alone, not being able to see their loved ones as well. You know, so that's that's the that's a real heartbreaking thing. You know, yeah. Um, but it's it, it's it's a uh, please please God you know we're we're we'll, we're going to find a, a difference over these next please God six months we'll see a real difference when we roll these these vaccines out you know and I suppose it's all about just trying to find as much positivity in what we have around us is is 
is the way the way to the way forward really isn't it it's all we can uh, do yeah it's it and to do it together how are things in ireland how are you guys doing with everything are you still in lockdowns or yeah yeah we're still in lockdowns jim it's uh to be honest with you there's a, been a lot of frustration uh building um over especially over the last few months because the vaccine was supposed to be pretty much rolled out by now and there's been a lot of delays a lot, yeah. of, a lot of promises broken and a lot of fate lost in government and all that type of thing a lot of protests starting that type of thing um, and yeah. yeah you can't blame people because some people as i said have it really really hard and uh but it, it, the good side is the uh, the vaccine is has started to roll out you know and people are getting it and it's getting a bit quicker now you know so we're hoping to god that um people can remain sane over these next few months and we're hoping by the summer that we're going to be in a much better place have you had a chance to have yours yet or you're still waiting no, yeah. Oh, to be honest with you, I think I'll be waiting for quite a while. Yeah. 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 They, uh, they opened up here um, the age limits, so it's gone way down. Like I think, uh, like Barbara Quinn says, in Florida, from ages 18 and up now, as of April 6th, people can get the vaccine, which is really good. They've been doing that here where I am. They really lowered the ages uh, all the way down to, I think, like mid-20s now and up can get it. So I got my first one and I have the next one coming okay. in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And um, so, far, so far, so good. You know, we're going to we're going to all have to do that because there's going to be places that are going to require it. I think they're even talking about an international updated passport where you have to show if you're going to enter certain countries or go on planes or certain buildings you got to show that passport that you've been vaccinated it's, it's they're thinking about doing that as well yes yes our friend, our friend valerie's here valerie thank you very much looking and sounding good neil and jim well worth the wait we love our valerie right <laughs> thank you valerie hope you're doing well yeah Right, exactly. So um, that's exciting. Again, cool things are happening, and hopefully things will smooth out there in you know Ireland real soon. Um, you've been really there, right? Haven't been able to travel beyond Ireland. Well, you know, Jim, um, my lockdown was uh, a restriction of two kilometers yeah. from the yeah. house. From the house, that is, you know. So I mean, I live. I live on the side of a mountain in County Wexford and uh, two kilometers doesn't get me very far, to be honest with you. No, it, it's it, I'm just basically down the road. But listen, it's 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 they, they kind of just put that in for and um, to keep back people back as much as possible. You know, I, I can obviously like as in two kilometers doesn't get me to the shops. It doesn't get me to the grocery store, you know, that type of thing. But um in my uh, my radius, I'm 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 very lucky that, that I've I've a lot of kind of uh, surrounding areas have nice um, trails and stuff like that. So every morning, myself and and Nicole and Fleur will go out and and uh, we'll have her in the pram and we'll run through these trails and all through the woods, just to try and keep the head right, to try and keep a bit of fitness going. And uh, as you see in the picture you had there, we I'm only a stone's throw from the from the Irish Sea. We get down mm. to uh, the coastline. And uh, walk along the beaches there, which are really, really lovely, you know. So, um, yeah, the the um, the yard, it, you know, it's tough because I can't, I can't drive, let's say, to my uh, my neighbouring county, which is County Wicklow, where my mum lives. They were asking about how's your mom doing and how uh, we. I haven't been able to see family either. There. Uh, well, we have relatives around here in the Northeast United States, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts area here in the States. But mm -hmm. uh, the folks, they're in Florida, you know, 1,200 miles away. And uh, we haven't been able to see, well, hoping soon. We're like, gee, is it going to be Mother's Day, which is in May? What are we going to, because there's been all these birthdays and, and celebrations, but yeah. families haven't really been able to get together. And we're hoping we can soon, you know? absolutely yes yes absolutely one thing that they have um allowed for which is a mercy is that uh for uh essential child care 
So if I'm doing some filming yeah. um, around Ireland somewhere, excuse me, um, at least I, I can I can get my my mom can mind floor for me, you know, if my both myself and, and Nicole are working, you know, which is which is great because she's she um obviously she loves her granddaughter and wants to uh, spend time with her, you know, and hasn't got to spend a lot of time with her over the last year with restrictions. So it's been tough in that respect. But as I said, with with our filming the way it works for the documentary, our, our film company have um the uh the broadcasting certificates from the, the government which allows us with social distancing to go and 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 film, you know, which is a yeah. god saying thank God for it, you know. And yeah. abide by the, the the rules and all that which we do, you know. Absolutely. But, um, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it, it allows me um to uh to have my to flourish grandmother to come down now and mind her and, and spend a bit of quality time that way you know which is a, yeah that is yeah absolutely. that's that's important like you said you're near the irish sea which is beautiful we're just a couple blocks from uh, the atlantic here in the long island sound and the ocean really is a very calming zen place to be isn't it Oh, you know, it's it, it it really is. It's 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 a godsend. It really is. And and people people down here use it. You know, right along the coastline in Wexford here. From uh, I'm kind of North Wexford, right down to the south. It's it's all sandy beach all the way down. And uh, people people just go there and and walk with their dogs and and walk with their children. And it's it's absolutely beautiful. And do you know it, when it, when it all boils down to it, you can forget about your computers and forget about your your online games and TV and Netflix. When you get when you get to out into the open and to a beautiful open beach like that near the water, like you said, it's calming, it's beautiful, it's pure. It's always been there. It always will. And it's 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 just serenity. Like it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's. It's it's lovely. It's lovely to see people enjoying it so much, you know. Absolutely. It probably inspires you as well. What what's a typical day like for you now, Neil? Or is there no typical day anymore? I would say on average, I you know, I try and kind of now the way things have gone, when I'm kind of juggling so many things, I'm trying to be a little bit more efficient with my time. So I'm saying, okay, in the morning I'm given, I, I, I always try to do a bit of exercise in the morning, no matter, even if it's only 20 minutes or if it's an hour, whatever, that's a, I always find it's a great healthy way to start the day, you know, just with, in headspace, no matter what you're doing, it doesn't have to be much. Um, even if it's a good walk, you know, just to, just to get that done. And it's just great for the head to come in because I know I'm going to be probably sitting down for a couple of hours writing out uh, a script for maybe one of these documentaries and then i'll know maybe after lunch i need to go in and uh, hit the studio uh, to arrange and record a musical piece whether for myself or for somebody else so it's 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 kind of like that and then obviously i in between i'm always trying to get time to play with Fleur and uh, hang out with Nicole and do, you know, our family things too, you know, it's, it's just so important. So to be honest with you, Jim, it's just, it's a, it, it's a balance. I'm trying, I'm really just trying to find the right balance. You know, there's things that I, I, I was doing even a year ago, like I was putting up uh, songs, cover versions of songs every week. And, and, and I really loved it. I really enjoyed it and I love to get back to it, but it, just over the last the last kind of I'd say six months, things have got really, really crazy busy. And just trying to juggle things, it's just priority with family and, and priority with um with work. I'm not out there gigging anymore at the moment, you know. So as I said, the work that I'm doing for other people is is my 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 living now as well. So I have to do that. So, um, yeah. What's that like? Tell us about that. So, uh, you're working with some artists who are obviously performers, and what do they run the music through you, and then you guide them? How does that work with what you're doing with some of the artists helping them along? Which yeah, I think is great. So it's to be honest with you, most of them that that I that I would do it for are not artists; they are songwriters. And it's it's it, it it's an amazing thing. There's and 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 the couple of the guys they won't mind me saying this. 
um, they have nine to five jobs, a lot of them, you know, and um, but they're really good songwriters. Yeah. And what they do is they'll send me the song and, and I, I, as I said, they won't mind me saying this. They're not singers or they're not players. Yeah. So they'll send me a song and they'll have to record it maybe into their phone or something. They'll send me the words and they'll sing it into their, 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 their phone and it'll sound absolutely dreadful really really bad and they're saying that's what, like they don't play that's why they need me to do it and it's kind of like okay this is what i have and when you hear it first it's kind of like oh right okay okay what am i going to do here what's going to happen here how am i going <laughs> to spring, sprinkle yeah. a bit of magic dust on this you know what is it but it's so funny uh, you know the, the one the guys that i do work with are very very good and very very creative they have a great story behind the song and I'll probably change a lot of the chords and or even make it simpler or add a middle eight to the song. Um, and I'm, I'm basically just painting the picture with music, basically painting the background to what they give me and uh, basically taking their story of what they're singing. And I'm, I'm trying to put the color to it with picking whatever instrument it needs, whatever chords it needs, whatever chords it doesn't need, I'll take out of it. And that's the way I do it. And I, I actually really enjoy that because I enjoy the challenge of it. Um, it I, I, find, I find a really enjoyable way to do it. And the way I find now to do it, and I've learned from mistakes by doing it this way, is that when I get a song in, I don't grab the guitar or go to the piano mm -hmm. and start trying to look for something. I just sit back and listen to it. And then stop it and listen to it, what I want to create in my head uh, without, because I find an instrument can be a distraction sometimes because your fingers can go anywhere on a type of thing, you know, and it can be, you're trying to relay what's, what you want onto it. But if you've no instrument, I find I can hear it a lot more clearly. Mm. And then I grab the instrument and right put it down you know that type of thing so it's it's that type of process and it, that's the same process that i use for the likes of the um the documentaries and stuff like that if i'm writing music behind a voiceover or something and i want to kind of give it a nice cushioned blanket to the story of what way the story is going to go um i i find it i find the best way to do it is to just sit back and forget about the instrument for now and uh, when i have that in my head as i said then i go to the instrument and uh try to play it down without ruining the idea you know and you do that's what you've also done with uh ryan with Vernon kelly as well right in putting the music together to perform as uh, a team yes absolutely i mean a lot of Yes, a lot of the time when it, when it's when it's an when the idea is a story first, and we have something that we want to write about, I find yes, I will I, I definitely sit back and and listen to where we want the music to kind of go, you know, how we want to paint the picture. Um, but then sometimes the story, the song comes from an idea from the guitar, an idea from the piano, or an idea Ryan might have, or something. It can come from different areas. So it's, we don't work in a in a, a kind of a uniformed way in that, you know, an idea can come from anything. It could come from being on the motorway and seeing a signpost mm -hmm. or being a certain person, you know? Mm -hmm. but, uh, so sometimes, sometimes it will just come directly from a guitar. And funny enough, a lot of the time ideas have come from us setting up at a show and um, sound checking and just playing your instrument. And when you plug your instrument in for the first time before a gig, it can be, there's a little bit of a spark there for the sound of the instrument. And I always find that a great time to just play for a little while if you have a little bit of time. And a lot of the time you can find something that you find interesting and uh, it can evolve from there, you know. So there's 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 many different ways. And also, I find first thing in the morning, I find is a can be a really really nice time to try and create. Often I'll just come in, I'll come into the sitting room here, and I'll I'll go straight to the piano, and I'll just tinkle away for it. It, it, it might only be ten minutes, and a lot of times 
nothing will come and I'll be going, okay, that's fine, not a bother. I will, I'll get back to that again. And next day I might come down and there'll be something there and I go, oh, that's nice, that little mel- melody there. Right. <laughs> and it just might be five notes, it might be 10 notes and it might be just a lyric that comes into my head out of it. I'll record it down and I go away from it and then I come back with fresh ears to reflect on it. And uh, yeah, so there's, there's like many, many different ways, but I think the more you do it, the more you can't kind of learn the best way for yourself to create, you know? Mm. Barbara has a question here. Your next uh, Burning Kelly album, will it be this year? You know, it's funny. Yeah, we, we, um, what we really wanted to do and our, our whole idea going out on the last tour that we had to cancel, obviously, um, we wanted to play some new songs on the tour play them first on the tour because you, you start shaping them as you the more you play them and you shape them to the better and and live is the best way to test out a song and you go okay i think this middle eight's a bit too long or i think we'll put in another chorus here or we'll we'll put in an acapella uh, intro to this song you know things like that yeah. and so our idea we said we won't go straight into studio yet we'll play these songs on the road first and when we have them to where we want them, whether, whether it takes a year or two years on the road, then we'll record them and the recordings we'll be really happy with, you know. But um, the way things have happened now, that's kind of knocked that on the head a little bit, you know. So we, we had, we've, we've quite a bit of material there that is in kind of demo mode, you know. We wouldn't have a full album now, but um, it's it's certainly a work in progress. And we do. Uh, so so to Barbara, yeah, it's a good question, Barbara. And thanks for that. Um, it's a work in progress at the moment. But I think we have we have a lot of stuff that we're, we're really, really excited about and very interesting subjects behind the songs. And yeah, we're, we'll, uh, we're just going to keep chipping away at them as we can, you know. Karen in Nova Scotia says, please make sure the contender is on the next CD. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. That's a lovely song. Ryan actually sang that on um, uh, not the last stage, it's the one before that, and uh, about the boxer. And uh, it's, a, it's a fabulous story as well, which he covered too. And uh, we, we, we put down the song. He sang the song in studio and we, we recorded it. And I know, I'm, I'm kind of amazed that we missed that one before the contender. Because I have, I've played it with a few artists in Ireland before, and uh, I've always loved the song, loved the story, but and so is, so is Ryan's always loved it too. So uh, it, listen, I think it'll definitely be in the next set list. That's that's definitely for sure, and we'll record it at some stage too. Yeah. yeah. So as far as Celtic Thunder, there are they still in a pause as far as when they think they would be back out on the road or maybe in the studio recording? Are they looking at twenty twenty two now? Um, uh, Celtic Thunder, yes, I, I, I think it is probably going to be that way. You know, I mean, we've been, we're, we're hanging on to any hope yeah. of getting out earlier, and that's all we can do. You know, that's right. Uh, hang on to hope, and it's, it's. We, we really thought we would know a lot more by now, Jim. Sure. You know, unfortunately, not. You know, we're all kind of in the same boat. We're all in the uh, in the dark, uh, I, I suppose. You know, as to exactly when we're going to get back out. But you know, us guys, we're used to being busy, and we love being out on the road. It's our, uh, the road is our second home. That's what we've we've always done. So as soon as we can, we'll be we'll be out there. You know, how have how has. Uh... How has things changed for you? Not just in terms of, like you said, the busy schedule that you have uh, with these new projects, which require a lot of time and research and can be, you know, really exciting too, taking into different directions like you're sharing with us, my friend. But in terms of how you're looking at life and some of the priorities in life and, and how has, because everything in life is a teachable moment and everything that's gone on in the last 12 months or so uh, all around the world has really presented a lot of teachable moments and self-reflection and things of that nature. So for you, Neil, how has Neil, the performer, the artist, the musician, the songwriter, the singer, Neil, the family man, the friend, how have you 
what what have you absorbed from the last year and how has if any way at all it changed you in any direction what have you learned from about yourself in the last year with everything we've experienced There's a lot of teachable moments that have happened yeah it's a good question um it's amazing because i suppose we were all thrown into this and um all of a sudden it was a full stop on what i have done since i've been uh, i've made a living at it since i'm 15 years of age and it's all i've ever known was going out and playing music live music with bands and then studio work as well obviously but when that kind of came to a stop um being thrown kind of not thrown into something else but kind of landing um uh from the side door into this other uh life if you like and other occupation with the the documentary making it kind of made me it made me think about you know well there actually are other things that you can do that you don't realize you can do um I, I, I've taken a lot from that about the, the documentary making because I've one thing I always loved in school was creative writing. That was one of my, I didn't enjoy school that much to be very, very honest, but creative writing, I really enjoyed. And I, I it was the one thing I excel in. And um, I suppose with this docu documentary making as well, with research, and uh, script writing and trying to be creative with it. I think that's come back around to me a little bit within that. And I've kind of learned that sometimes you get stuck in a little bubble of what you think your life is, but you can kind of expand on that bubble. And there's a lot of other things that you just don't know you know that that maybe you 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 could really really enjoy and uh, get a lot of uh love for and i kind of found that you know the way the years are going as well where obviously we're not here for a long time we're 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 <laughs> we're here we're here for a short time to be honest when you look at the grand scheme of things and um to be able to kind of open up a little bit more and, and open your mind to other things as i said i wasn't doing that but this has kind of made me do that and i'm kind of i i i think my mind is opening even more to other things not that i want to be bit busier i i don't want to be busier I, I i just think there's a lot of other colors that you can bring to your life if you actually open your mind to it a lot more you know and just look and you know, there, there could be other things that that you could do really, really well in if uh, that you just don't know about right now. So that's what I've kind of learned, Jim. If I've answered your question right you there, you did. You did. Yeah. Uh, you know, and 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 the balance. And one thing that I'm I'm really, really trying to do that I found I've been really bad at is slowing down to allow myself to go. Okay, I can stop. I can stop now. Like. I find I've always found in the last even the last 10 years, I find it hard to sit down even in the evening for an hour to stop and say, watch the TV or watch a sport that I like. I'm always twiddling my fingers going, oh, I have to do that and I have to get this done. I have to get that done. And I, I have to learn to slow down a bit and and go, I'm OK to sit down for the evening. I, I should be all right to do that. Give right. myself that you know and i know i'm not the only one that does this but i i find it's something i need to um not have to make it a conscious decision to do just to allow myself that time to to, to relax a little bit more you know yeah a, a lot of people have been saying that about this time uh that it's given them this, this time to pause and reflect and uh that as you know, horrific as it's been in many respects, it's also been an amazing time for them because they've been able to explore things that they've always wanted to do and elements of themselves that perhaps they haven't been able to touch upon because yeah. of the busyness of life, you know, and all the things we have to accomplish and all the calls we have to return and the emails and the on location we have to be at and everything. So um, there's totally. a lot of 
beauty in what has happened too. It's given this moment to, to really pause and reflect and uh, maybe go forward more compassionately, more empathetically, more unified, which is yeah. what, the way it's supposed to work anyway, right? Do you know, Jim, you said unified there, and I think you hit the nail on the head. That is the most important thing. It is kind of, for once in a long, long time, everybody on this planet has, has uh, uh, we're on a par, if you like, you know what I mean? We're, 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 we always have been on a par, but we just, you know, people don't unfortunately think of it like that. You know, it's kind of a, it's the world got into a real rat race, you know, yes. um, we're all the same at the end. We are all the very, very same. We're made up of the same things. We all have the same vulnerabilities, no matter what we have or what we don't have. But I, I suppose this has kind of grounded us in a, in a, in a way. And I, I really do that hope that every people a lot of people please god even find that empathy for each other a lot more moving moving forward that we could all we can all find that you know has it changed your uh, music at all or or the music that you want to do going forward yeah actually funny enough it, it has in a way i I, I always was kind of, you know, when I take on a project or something, um, even if it's for, for myself or writing a song, I, I'm always going, okay, well, what's what's this song for? It needs to be teamed with something. It needs to be like part of something, part of a project or whatever. I've kind of, through this, I've, um, I've kind of said to myself, no, just write what feels good. Just write what feels good. And if it feels really good, record it and be happy that right. way i don't need to i don't need the end result i mean i don't need to make money loads of money out of this song i don't need to have every radio station play it i just want it to be a lovely song that's all i want you know and if i get a really good feeling from the song that's health and wealth right there you know by just listening back to a lovely song you know because funny enough the only music i listen to right now is calming music that's all i yeah. want yes. maybe it's my age maybe i'm just getting old you know but it's yeah. i just <laughs> it's calming music you know and uh yeah it's me it's too a song that i'm working on uh at the moment is a, an original song and i've titled it um these autumn leaves and it's mm. it's it's about walking on autumn leaves when it was and thinking about how we got into this and basically you know everybody kind of stuck in their houses in lockdown and find it really difficult and a lot of poor people getting very sick from covid and uh but the main release was not going on to netflix and finding joy there the joy was walking on autumn leaves in the in the in the, in the woods up around me here and uh just having that time to just just to reflect and just just have a lovely time kind of with, with with nature you know and and finding that nice solace there you know so uh yeah that's beautifully said because uh, i've been saying that all along get out there in nature go to the ocean and find some of those constants in life because you know as it seems like the you know the rug is pulled underneath you, it can seem a little scary and people start to withdraw and retreat or they become defensive. Uh, yeah. In this case, when you surround yourself with nature, with going out into a forest, going for a hike, going towards the ocean, whatever it is, uh, surrounding yourself with animals, whatever it may be, those are the things that have always been here and that will be here a thousand years after us. And they have no idea that there's a pandemic or anything going on or the economy or the civil unrest or the political craziness uh, over here yeah. or any yeah. of the stuff that's happening. The ocean is still there. You can you know, access the ocean and uh, things like that. So surround yourself with the things that are grounding absolutely uh, absolutely and it's you know it's something we touched on on the last i was uh, on the, the last stage that i was covering music and i was talking to a storyteller he's a he's a, a neighbor of mine he lives across the road and he goes to these uh house of stories a lot of your uh, viewers here tonight would have uh, probably heard me talk about that and um it's a, it's 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 going on for two thousand years and it's still going on today where people will all go to a certain house 
and they will tell stories for the night and it's 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 a wonderful thing and they'll 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 sing they'll sing songs they'll just stand up and they'll sing songs and this can go over three nights that's great um, it, it, it's wonderful but it's get isn't it yet again it's it's getting back to those important thing beautiful music beautiful storytelling all the calming things that are, are needed more now than ever you know mm -hmm. and it's funny it's the, it's it's when the world began that, that the, these were the most important things always were and always will be you know yeah, that's it. When the world began, all there were, were the ocean and rocks, and they made something out of it. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. There stones, you, go. <laughs> you know, just stones and dust, and look Very what true. they've made from it. Um, yes. You uh, wanted to play something for us, too. I know a lot of folks are asking. You wanted to play for something for us uh, while you're there as well, my friend? Well, if you like, I can I can of play. Of course something. we like. <laughs> what kind of question is that? We definitely <laughs> like. <laughs> We don't like. We love the loveities. Love it. Yeah. Well, would you would you like a, a song from? Would you like a song from? I don't know. Over this side of the water. Would you like a song from over your side of the water? Because I've been influenced from both sides, and uh, I don't really mind. You can you can choose. What What are you feeling right now? What's coming to mind for you? What 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 are you feeling right now? Um. Mo, mo, uh, both both songs are quite kind of calming as well. Now that we're in that uh, <laughs> that mode, that I was kind of thinking of while you were, you were talking there, I t I tell you I tell you what you you can you can uh, you can choose Jim Rice. I am um, a, a band that brings me back to my childhood. They're saying Ireland side. Most of them are saying your side, please, because maybe it'll be something fresh that they. Yeah. Yeah, unless you wanted to do one of each, I mean, it's up to you. A song of your choice, choice we like, a song of your choosing, um, meeting of the waters, play both, one our side, one your side. Yes, coming is good. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I tell you what, uh, seeing as um, uh, summer is coming as well, I wanted to, I, I told a friend of mine that I was on um, tonight with you. And he's, he's tuning in. And um, I, I talked about this guy and I interviewed him on one of our stages as well. And he was from a, a, a band that were really well known in Ireland, a legendary band in Ireland. And sadly, their lead singer passed away about three or four months away. I ago. saw that, yes. Yeah, Liam yeah. Riley, a fabulous Very singer. And um, so... It was a song that I'd done before and uh, with them, and it was the song. It was a song that that blew them up in the world. You know, they they became really famous because of this song. And um, one of my first memories of seeing a band on stage was seeing Bagatelle down in County Kerry in a hotel called the Glen Eagles Hotel. And I heard them. I was only I was only nine, nine or ten years of age, and my dad got me in to see them. He knew the band. Mm. So um, it's a big part of my career, this song, and I sang it on the Celtic Thunder stage in the uh, mythology show. That's so, right. Uh, I could give you a couple of verses and, of this, maybe. Sure, if, yeah. If that. Yeah. Oh. I would love that. Yeah, absolutely, okay. my friend. I hope it sounds okay. So we're just using the, the computer mic here. Yeah, you know? yeah. Take me away from the city Lead me to where I can be on my own I wanted to see you Now that I have I just want to be left alone I always remember your kind words And I still remember your name But I've seen you changing and turning down all the things just won't be the same I remember that summer in Dublin And the leafies it stank like hell and Young people walking on Grafton Street Everyone looking so well I was singing a song I heard somewhere called Rock and Roll Never Forgets. And my humming was smothered by a 46A. 
the scream of a low flying jet. So I'm leaving on Wednesday morning. I'm trying to find a place where I can hear the wind and the birds and the sea on the rocks. Where open roads always are there. And if sometimes I tire of the quiet And I want to walk back a bit here I'll just get on the road and I'll stick out my thumb Cause I know for sure you'll be there still Hope you're singing, Jim. Yes, we are. <laughs> I remember that summer in Dublin And the liffies, it stank like hell Young people walking on Grafton Street, everyone looking so well. So I jumped on a bus to Dunleary, stopping off to pick up my guitar. And a drunk on the bus told me how to get rich. I was glad that we went going too far. Remember that summer in Dublin Very nice, very nice. Well, while you have that there, did you want to throw in something from this side of the uh, the this big side pond? The I yeah, tell you they've been asked they've been asking yeah they were saying definitely <laughs> definitely definitely they also send you they say uh i'll show you some of them magical voice they're loving it sounding thank great you. voice like butter beautiful thank you painting in my mind barbara quinn hearts and claps bravo mercy claps thanks irish 43 says thanks neil beautiful thank you neil so beautiful beautiful so yeah, Mary Bishop in Florida, one of our regular Lovety viewers also. So beautiful, Neil, thank you. Love it here in Ontario, Canada. Merlin, one of our regular Lovety viewers. Uh, we welcome everybody who's uh, our regular Lovety viewers who watch all the time and anybody that's new, we invite you to watch us. We're here seven days a week. We have another show tonight. We're doing two shows today, Neil. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Same as myself. <laughs> it's crazy. It's one of those days, but you love it, right? You love it. Jim, you know what? I, I wouldn't I, do it if I, we didn't. The, 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 uh, the show you have is fantastic. It's just so uh, very relaxed. Um, and uh, I know we we know each other a long time now, but it, there's a lovely relaxed vibe on it. It does feel like we're I know I am sitting in my sitting room here, but yes. it's like the both of us are in the same room and we're we're just having a good chat about anything, you know, which 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 is great. I I love that. I love these real informal type of uh, things, you know. And that's 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 your show. It's a fabulous show, and uh, we need to spread the word. It's Spread the word. Yeah. Absolutely. Love, love that. Um, love that YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. Subscribe to it, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So well, uh, what would you like to uh, share with us right now with your incredible talent? Well, you know what? I was just thinking um, a, a, a song from over your side of the water because um, I do remember this, and this is another one that kind of influenced me uh, as, as a child, because I remember my, my mom in the kitchen when we were, when I was only a kid, and she'd always have the radio on in the mornings. And I remember her singing away to this song, and I always loved it. It always caught my attention. I always thought it was a lovely vibe to it. And it was a song um, written and recorded by the mamas and the papas. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, I might give you a little bit of California dreaming. Ooh, that sounds okay. good. <laughs> Tune my guitar. Yeah, that's it. So please do sing along. All right. All the leaves are brown. And the sky is gray. 
bowing for a war on a winter's day. Well, I'd be safe and warm if I was in LA. A California dreaming on a winter's day. Stopped into a church. I passed along the way. Well, I got down on my knees. Oh, please. And I began to pray. You know, the preacher didn't talk. He knows I'm going to stay. California dreaming on a winter's day. Gray. I went for a walk on such a winter's day. You know the preacher didn't talk. He's gonna stay in California dreaming on such a winter's day. Set you in his day on a winter's day. Very so nice, very nice too. You do percussion as well. <laughs> oh, I I try. I give it a I give it a go. You know. You give it a go. You give it a go. Is the guitar your favorite instrument? I think I we've chatted about this uh, in the TV studio here when I have interviewed you on uh, public television. But is the guitar the instrument that really speaks to your heart the most? Um, speaks to my heart. I suppose, like, um, if I was to play excuse me, one instrument that would be the guitar, I'd be more versed on the guitar than any other instrument, you know? Um, two, two of my the main instruments that I play are, is guitar, uh, lead guitar and bass guitar. I played bass right. guitar for years in bands and I've always loved it. Um, as a kid, I started off on the drum kit because my brother was a drummer and I used to play in a couple of bands on the drum kit and I always loved that because I just loved the, the rhythm section. I love the rhythm yeah. section. You know, so um, but you know what? I think like it, really every instrument in its own right, I love when it's placed in the right. It's when when it's part of the right ensemble. When you um, and the part is right for that instrument. You can, you can't beat it in its own right if you know what I mean. So um, but if I was stranded on a desert island, yeah, I suppose I'd have to have a guitar. That would that would be my main thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Uh, some people are asking, see what Barbara Quinn is asking about. Oh, she's asking about that instrument as well. Um, a oh, lot the of, them, yeah, a lot of people are asking about that. Margaret as well. Yes. Yes. I, I, I actually have it. It's over by the piano there. The, the, the Baron. Yeah. Um, the Baron is my latest. Um, yeah, that's what they were saying. Trial and error, you know, but I've, I've, I'm, I'm practicing on it, you know. I'm trying to get more time to, to, to practicing, on, to, to practice on the baron. I love the baron because the baron can be like a, a drum kit. It has this lovely, it has these lovely overtones in it that you can use. It can be played with any type of music as well, although it's usually played with traditional Irish music. Um, it's an ancient instrument. And um, in fact, we don't know how old it actually is, but it's an ancient instrument. And uh, yeah, I, I was I was really happy to to, to feature that instrument on uh, uh, one of the, the last stage that we did, in fact. And it was lovely to start playing with it, you know. But I've I've a long way to to go. I'd never call myself a baron player. Um, 
I have, a, I have a lot of work to do, a lot of time to put into it, you know. But when it's played by a good player, it's a it's it's a fabulous instrument, yeah. So what else would you like to do uh, that you're not doing right now? Some people have said, um, are you going to write a book? Has that ever been uh, something that Neil Byrne has been thinking about? <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's, uh, to write a book, I, I, I would love, I would love to write a book. I'd love to have a go at something like that. But... I I I th I'll be honest with you. I think I'd need to be a more interesting person. I don't <laughs> think I'd have enough to say to make it interesting enough. To be honest, and, um, oh, oh, maybe I'd write a book about somebody else. Maybe that's the way to go. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it'd be um, oh something like that. would be lovely because I, I I have always loved uh, a creative writing. It's it's a uh, it's it's a joy to. Um, I always find that it just opens your mind, you know, there's so much out there, you know, there's no rules to it. So, you know, creative writing is great. Yeah. You know, people are also mentioning, uh, they want to know why you're called Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe if you write a book, that could be your assumed <laughs> pen name. You could be Nelson. I know. Yeah, very true. Very true. Do you know, um, our, my good friend, Angie Halloran, um, She's one of my closest friends, and I love her dearly. She um, and and uh, if if I have a problem nearly with, with anything, she's one of the first people I would go to, and I'll text Angie. What do I do here? What do I do? You know, help me out here. And she's brilliant. She's absolutely brilliant. Angie was the first person to call me Nelson, and I don't know where it came out of thin air. But it, I, it was when we were in the early days, and we were we were on tour with, with Celtic Thunder. And um, it just stuck. It stuck. Um, Nelson stuck. And the lads have always called me Nelson still. Um, Nicole calls me Nelson. She, Nicole has called me Nelson more than she's called me Neil in, uh, since we met, you know, which is a strange thing. Um, I think, it, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a very strange thing for my daughter when she starts speaking to call me Nelson. Now, you know, I hope it's just going to be dad. But, uh, yeah, Nelson kind of... It stuck, and it's funny sometimes that even like Burn and Kelly gigs, uh, Ryan would say, um, you know, uh, okay, Nelson's going to sing the next song, and and there's a lot of people that have heard Nelson before, and they won't bat an eye an eyelid, but there's other people going, who, who, Nel, who, who's Nelson, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of like that. But, it's like you see, is an extra singer? Is he the new guy, Nelson? You know, who is this? Uh, who is this strange Nelson fella? You know, but yeah, it, it's just become. I've it's it's funny I've had I've had a few different names through my through my life you know Nibzer Nibzer was my first uh, nickname when I was a kid uh, I used to used to call me Nibzer in the park and uh, Burner Burner I was in Burner when I was in school because it, because it was uh, Burn you know so I was Burner um so yeah I've been called different things like that but yeah Nelson came from Angie and uh, it stuck through Celtic Thunder. No relation at all to the Byrne brothers, huh? They were on our show a couple of weeks ago, the young lads from Dublin and Donegal, and now they live in Orlando, Florida. Uh, do you know about the Byrne brothers? I don't think so. Same spelling as yours, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. The oh. three young lads and uh, their father, Tommy, and they are from Dublin, and then they lived in Donegal. Now they live in Orlando, Florida. They're loving it because there's oh, wow. this there's this wonderful Irish love affair with uh, the ocean and with surfing. So the young lads, they're like uh, like eleven and fifteen and nine. Oh, right. and they were they they are uh, you know as much as they are musicians, they're step dancers too. Really incredible, and they would do it in the streets of Dublin and then Donegal, and now they've moved to uh, Florida. So they love the ocean and they love surfing. Wow. Like I know yeah. you you guys do too, right? You've uh, hit the well, ocean uh, from time yeah. to time. It, 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 the East Coast would be a bit. The Irish Sea would wouldn't be wouldn't have the the wave velocity, you know, for it. Uh, the the Atlantic does, you know, over yeah. Donegal, like you mentioned. That's that's perfect, you know. County Clare, Galway, all down the West Coast, they get a lot of surfers that way, you know. Mayo, um, yeah, it's fantastic, you know. People love it. I've never I've never tried it myself, you know, but. Um, I, I know people that have and, and and love it, but yeah, it's the West Coast is 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 the place for it there, you know. Gary's asking any relation. He's in Iowa, USA. Any relation to Mary Byrne? Same spelling too. 
Yeah, well, I have an aunt, Mary, Mary Bourne, you know, mm-hmm. um, yeah, back at home here. She's she's from Bray. Yeah, yeah. You know? Cool stuff, cool stuff. So it's exciting. You have some really cool things that you're doing that are really, you know, taking up a lot of the time, um, but you're sort of spacing it out. The the priorities, you're, you're trying to keep everything sort of, the that's key to it all is keeping it all balanced, right? That's, that's the, that's the key, Jim, you know, and, uh, but I, I have to count my blessings. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's really, really good. It's nice to get up in the moment and, 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 and have a purpose to start working. And I'll be honest with you, Jim, if we didn't have the support and love we get from supporters and the fans like yeah. honestly we, we 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 just couldn't do it you know right. it just would not that's it it all stems from these amazing people from around the world and it's it's an it's an incredible thing it's really opened our eyes that the fan base is around the world in a lot of countries we haven't um even played in which is is it really is phenomenal and we've learned that through the online uh, staged shows that we've been doing you know and getting uh, you know letters from people and and it's it's just an outpouring of 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 love and this amazing gratitude for what we do but it just works both ways it's an amazing thing and uh we've said it a million times but it does it gets us up in the morning and it, and it, it gets us writing music and researching for new um documentaries and trying to keep it going you know and 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 keep the love in it all and it's 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 been going great thank god and it's like i said it's thanks it's thanks to everybody it's a huge big community that 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 is is full of really great positivity you know Mm, absolutely and the years go by quickly don't they my friend oh absolutely. (laughs) i know i know we showed these before when you were on last but it's really amazing uh how the time how the time I know. I keep saying that's my son in that that picture, and I keep telling him to shave that silly little beard off. You know, <laughs> that earring, <laughs> of course, with George, George too. George, George there as well. Yeah, out with Keith and George, and that. that, that do you know what? I, I, we had great times when we were doing all the PBS promotions. You guys were always so kind to us, and it was so easy to to um, enjoy ourselves on screen with PBS. It was such yeah. a great partnership we had all the way through the years. It's, it was always really, really amazing. Some great photographs you have there. It brings back great memories. Yeah, a lot of the time goes by really, really fast, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it sure does. It sure does. It absolutely does. But Jim, please God, we'll have many more years of it. Yes. And uh, of course, you have uh, loving family around you and good friends. And that's truly truly what life is all about it seems like you know you've got the priorities uh where they need to be and uh if anything this uh, time that we've experienced uh, all collectively has given us time to really either realign the priorities or or enhance the priorities um Mm-hmm. about what really matters most in life. Uh, good friendships, long friendships, loving family. Uh, and like you do, you know, in this case, appreciating those who have helped you to do what you love. Um, yeah. the, the fans, in my case, the viewers, the listeners, the loveities, the fans, and your case too, the same thing. Those who show up to the party all the time and they're excited and they want to be with you and with, you know, the other lads, they want to experience what you have to say. They want to hear about your life story. They root for your family. They they buy the music. That's, there's really nothing. uh, I'm sure it just, you can't even put that into words, what that feeling is like. If you were that 10 year old kid again, and you could ever look back and say that this would be what life has turned out for you in the way that it has in such a, blessed way uh you'd probably say what right oh absolutely absolutely jim yeah yeah i I, you know just been very very blessed with everything around me to be honest with you i really have and you kind of as as you do get older you get to value it even more every day you really do and you know even kind of immediate friends around you so much time can pass Yes. And I, I'll finish on this. I won't go on too long about it, but I, I, I um, just, just 
friends sometimes when you're really busy it's like oh I'll, I'll i'll call him or i'll call her you know next week and you put it off and you put it off and you put it off put it off i've been trying to i've been trying to use this time as well by saying okay i've no excuse now and it's the best time to ring a friend and pick up the phone and just that one phone call can change their day by saying how are you doing how are you keeping you know and if they're struggling which we all we all are struggling from time to time it's not all roses you know even making music and all that type of thing it's brilliant it's great but we all have our down days and our struggles with things so it's 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 um it's it, it's such a good thing, and if we can think about it more, to ring a friend that we haven't thought about in a while, just lift the phone and just touch base with them, and it can mean the world to them, and um, it can make a difference to that people, to that person, especially in this pan pandemic and, and and really strange times that we're having, you know. So um, it's just yeah. another another thought, you know. Absolutely. And a terrific one. Just taking a look at some of these uh, wonderful comments here. William Holland in the Netherlands, who was one of our regular Lovity viewers. Neil, thanks for your stories. Kathy Short in Cleveland, Ohio. A fantastic chat today. Thanks so much, Neil, for sharing your time with us. Uh, Barbara Good says such great advice. I agree. Anne says thank you for such a great afternoon. Awesome afternoon. Thank you, Anne, for tuning in. Barbara Quinn says uh, music just helps us so much. I truly need it right now. Absolutely. Thank Cheryl you. says uh, Cheryl Krantz watching. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jim and Neil, for a wonderful interview. Looking forward, Neil, to seeing you all back here in the States. Um, oh, yeah. In here, uh, Deborah says, Neil, you are awesome as always. Katrina says, only found Celtic Thunder in December 2020, hooked ever since. Oh. Um, Yvonne Reed says, thanks for the interview, Neil and Jim. It's our pleasure. Denise Ola, uh, been an absolutely wonderful afternoon with you, Neil and Jim. Our pleasure. Thank you very much. Adriana, hugs to, and love to Nicole and little princess, Flora. Absolutely. And, uh, Juanita in South Africa, one of our regular Lovity viewers. Great to see you on the show once more, Neil. Love to your family. Thank you, Juanita. Rhonda Murphy. Oh, y'all. Y'all, a bunch of big hugs to you and your family. Thank you, Neil and Jim. You are very welcome. Um, please try playing the Chapman stick, Neil. <laughs> That'd be I look it up. That'll be <laughs> up. Great interview, Jim and Neil. Barbara Hartnett, thank you very much. Mystic Soul says, love from Florida. Uh, Josie Briggs would love a UK or Ireland tour. Hugs and kisses from Barbara. Uh, Becky Burke, Burn and Kelly and Celtic Thunder have been a godsend during this pandemic. Uh, Barbara says, great interview, Jim and Neil. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, thanks for the chat. Nice to see you again, Neil. Stay safe, Neil and family. Danielle says, big hugs to your family. Uh, thanks, y'all. So needed this today. That's terrific. We love hearing that. It's our pleasure. We, that's what we do all the time here on the Gym Masters Show Live. It's uh, positivity, inspiration, and good entertainment along the way. Wonderful to hear from you, and so good to listen to your music. Neil, thank you. Uh, that thank is you, Paula. Paula Moses. We appreciate that as well. That is wonderful. Uh, yeah. Nice. These wonderful comments coming in here. I Elizabeth. Know, I know. Fantastic interview. Thank you, Jim and Neil. Bernadette Vidal, Neil, thank you. So true, little things matter. Mary Bishop in Florida. Thank you, Neil. You're such a kind, positive, talented young man. Now go eat dinner. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Yes, yeah. me too. Me too. Really? I've really enjoyed this chat. Thank you, Jim and Neil. That is from Lisa. That is our pleasure as well. Joey Huffer says, hugs to Nicole and Fleur. Enjoyed this show so much. Fantastic show. Thank you very much. Marsha Lyon, too, our dear friend. Uh, she's now in Massachusetts, but she used to live in Connecticut. I remember seeing you in the studio in Hartford several times. I was taking calls. I've seen you and Ryan as well at many times. I've seen you in Celtic Thunder sending Lovity, our famous Thanks, Marcia. our famous show's Lovity. Cheryl Kranz, thank you, Jimmy Neal, for a wonderful interview. Looking forward to seeing Neil back in the States, of course. Same here. Mercy, mercy from ann uh stay safe everyone as well and cool stuff it's nice when i'm very viewer centric i like to bring the viewers in so yeah. they feel like they're a part of the show Absolutely. thank you uh, jim you are an amazing host bring out the best in the guest barbara good thank you I very agree. much 
Barbara, thank you. I appreciate that. And um, LC says, thank you very much, Neil and Jim. You are very welcome. Uh, thank you again there. And uh, Nina says, thank you, Jim and Neil. Great show. Sharon says, wow, they're really popping. They're going so fast before we can <laughs> even see them. Thank you, Jim and Neil. Your thoughts were inspiring. Our pleasure. Jones thank says, thank you, Neil. Hope to see you soon in the US. Love to your beautiful family. Uh, thank you. Lovity, you're one of you, of course, you were already dubbed one of our Lovities back in the summer, but now you're Lovity Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Lovity Nelson, I love it. Michelle says, thank you, Jim and Neil. Love to Nicole and Fleur from your Philly fan from Philadelphia. Yes, thank you, <laughs> and uh, thank you again, Paula. Thank you, Jim, for another great show. Uh, Margaret says, thank you, Neil and Jim, for a great interview today. Our pleasure. Um, Julie says, wonderful to hear and see you in Neil and Jim XOXO. And uh, Kim says, uh, can you handle all this levity, Neil? <laughs> oh, Big, I it happens all the time on this show. I, yes, I think indeed. it's awesome. I know. Big hugs to you and your family, Neil. Of course, we love that. Made my day. That's what we like to hear. Barbara Queen says, made Thanks, my day. Barbara. Soraya says, Celtic Thunder rocks. Thanks, Neil, for everything you do from Anne. Really nice. Wonderful, Barbara. Neil. Thank you again from Paula. And uh, the list goes on. Victoria Peterson, you're a great interviewer, Jim. And Neil, you do such amazing interviews. So much great info. Yes, we are a wonderful team, Neil and I. We have been for, for years and we'll have him back again. Uh, if you wanna see the epic Guinness World Record interview, you can go back in the summer. <laughs> we do something a little shorter this time, just give you some updates and we'll have Neil back. He's, he's an amazing guy and I really consider him a wonderful friend. Great show, wonderful music, great sounding boy. great, Neil from Amy. Thank you both. Amy, uh, California misses you, Neil. Um, thanks for awesome interview, Soraya. You are welcome. And, uh, Marcia says, have you put a baby picture of you next to your little sweetheart? She looks so much like you. <laughs> Bunny, great interview. Stay I safe. Stay well. Hope to see you in the States soon. Adriana, great interview. Neil and Jim, big hugs, hugs from Buenos Aires. Thank you very much. Uh, you are missed in Ontario, Canada from Marguerite and Ellen Collins. Uh, my first gym master show. Very enjoyable. Thank you, Neil and Jim. Welcome, Ellen. We're here. So welcome. For you. Nice to have you here. Again, yeah. Soraya says, please tell the other lads that I said hi and thanks for the postcard as well. We love that. Ashley Hamilton, Jim and Neil, thank you both so very much. Love, hugs to you both, right back at you as well. And uh, both of you, thank you. Please eat dinner. Bernadette, yes, uh, yes ma'am, we will. I will eat dinner and Neil will eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your music. All the best from Switzerland. Um, and Julie I'm says, where is Neil's mini me, XOXO. That's beautiful. <laughs> Merlin in Canada. Keep staying safe. Love you. We uh, miss you in Alberta, Canada. And uh, again, I'm sure they'll be performing again soon. So just hang in there. Um, thank Absolutely. you for another amazing show. Crystal Nolan in Connecticut. You're very, very welcome. Gang, you guys are the best. Thanks for all these continued comments. I see more and more. Yes, Hopefully, indeed. we always try to get to uh, as many of them as we can. Uh, Rose Brady. Thank you, Jim and Neil. Learned how to view your show on the big screen. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Nice and, one. Yeah, you can watch this on television, on your computer, on your phone, and so much more. Kathleen Walker in New York City, two handsome fellas. Ooh. Wow. Let's put, how do we print <laughs> that one out? Can we print I've been that called worse. I've been called worse, Jim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take that one, Kathleen. Thank Chris you very much. That one, yeah. <laughs> uh, Marty Thompson, originally from Australia, but he lives in Nashville. Good day, mate, from Irish Australian Catholic day, convict. Yeah. That's what he calls himself. He's an Irish Australian Catholic convict. <laughs> I, I, yes. Oh, I, 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 uh, big hi to my Australian friends as well. I always have a, a wonderful time down there. Every time I go down and, and tour there, it's great. It, isn't great. it? It's really awesome. Oh, and yeah. uh, 007 Susan says, blessed by seeing you all today. Hugs to you and your family, Neil, and hugs to you too, Jim. Thank you very thank much. You. We thank appreciate you. that. And um, thank you, Neil and Jim. Great way to spend an afternoon from Alberta, Canada. My friend, you're the best. I'm so glad that we were able to get together. And uh, thoroughly enjoyed us. Thoroughly enjoyed us. 
my pleasure, my friend. Uh, you're really fantastic. I appreciate all the time as always. And oh. uh, when I said, hey, you know, would you like to pop on the show again? You said, absolutely, Jim. You know, let's do something right after the crazy, busy St. Patrick's Day, yes. <laughs> yeah. which certainly was crazy and busy. A um, little different than in previous years, but hopefully we'll be out on, you know, marching in the parades and doing okay. all the things we normally do next yeah. year. But yeah. um, this was awesome, my friend. And I toast you. Uh, you're, uh, you're one of my favorites. And uh, you're just very talented and very giving. You're a cool guy. And uh, I always love when you're here on the show and even off the air, you know, where he's on TV and everything. Just to hang is always a cool thing. And I hope we are doing going to do that in person again real soon. At Likewise, least. mate. Absolutely. Yeah. An absolute pleasure being with you. It always is. Like you said, you know, we go back, a, go back a long while now. And uh, it's it, it's great. Every time we catch up, it's great. You know, tonight is today's been fantastic. I really enjoyed chatting. And thanks to everybody for tuning in. You know, you're you are great. Yet again, support. You are always giving it. You know, we're all friends now at this stage. So thanks a million. And uh, yeah. I'll go and have my dinner now. Go have your dinner and have a, have a nice <laughs> cocktail with it. And uh, Jim and Neil, dy uh, dynamic duo, absolutely. And everybody, they're all saying they've enjoyed it. Awesome, Jim and Neil. Thank you, Jim and Neil. Rhonda and uh, Anita and um, so many others. Thank you very much. You guys are the very best uh, for tuning in. And uh, thank you very much, Neil. Blessings to you and the family. We will see you again soon. We'll keep the porch light on. Keep me posted. Let's stay connected anytime you have anything coming on or you just want to say hi Absolutely. or you are uh, short in uh, the Lovity department. Uh, you know, this is where you come to, to feel really good afterwards, right? Absolutely, mate. Listen, I'll be, I'll be tuning in. I'll be tuning in and watching your shows as always. And uh, thank you again for having me, right? And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do it again soon. Yes, and we everybody, will. Everybody have a, a, a wonderful weekend and we'll see you. We'll see you shortly. Okay. God bless y'all. You as well, my friend. <laughs> thanks for joining us and thanks for playing as well. We appreciate it all. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Cheers. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. A great friend, Neil Byrne and more comments coming in here. Love it. Thank you. And, uh, Oh, we will indeed pour on the lovity. Yes, you guys are really good at doing that. Blessings to everyone. And hearts coming in from Barbara Quinn. Thank you very much. Uh, happy Easter to you both. Night all. And so what happened was in the beginning, why we, we started the show a little late, is the, the daylight savings time. So here in the United States, we put the clocks ahead the hour. We did that about a week ago. But in Ireland, no. So... 7 p.m. East, 7 p.m. GMT is the show time for. We did it earlier. Last time Neil was on, we had the show. And if you missed that episode, we went for a couple of hours actually. We wanted to do something a little bit tighter this time. But uh, if you missed that episode, you can see it on our YouTube channel at Gym Masters TV. We did the show at 7 p.m. Eastern last time, which was midnight his time. So when he and I were chatting and we said, you know, um, we'll do a, a new episode, you know, or freshen the episode and have him come back as a special guest. I said, you know what, why don't we do something different? Normally our show is on at 7 PM Eastern, 4 PM Pacific here on our YouTube channel at Gym Masters TV. Um, this great entertainment lifestyle talk show series. Um, but I said, you know what, we'll do an extra show on Saturday, the 27th. So I have another show tonight with Oscar winning dancer and actor, George Chikiris, who was in West Side Story, White Christmas, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Um, there's no business like show business. He's a legend. He's on our show tonight, live from Hollywood, California, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. But uh, I said, why don't we do a show earlier so it's not too late for you next time? Um, so that's what we did. That's why we started at 2 p.m. Eastern today because it was 7 p.m. for him in Ireland. However, they don't turn the clocks ahead. So it's almost 4 p.m. here, but it's still an hour back for Ireland. That's where it was a little bit, the time changing. I know, because so many different parts of the world, they, they don't do the daylight savings time, and some parts do. And yes, Paula, tonight we'll be on in just a couple of hours, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific with uh, 
Oscar winning and Golden Globe winning dancer and actor, Hollywood legend, um, the amazing George Takiris. Uh, thank you, Mary. And France, time changes tonight, like in Ireland. So the time's changing tonight. But glad it all worked out. And uh, you guys are the best from all around the world. If you're just joining us for the first time, this is what we do. We're on daily live with extraordinary uh, talent, uh, inspiring conversations. We had a fantastic St. Patrick's Day episode. If you didn't see it, you can see it on our YouTube channel at Gym Masters TV. We actually um, took a look back at some of the Irish artists who were featured on our show. If you missed any of our episodes, there's over 360 of them on our YouTube channel at Gym Masters TV. We would love it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel and click that notification bell so you never miss any of the notifications when we do our exciting content on the channel. We're usually here seven days a week live daily, which is amazing. And um, it's really, really cool because we have so much love on this show. And I think that's really, really amazing. We call it levity because in the summertime, I was saying the show is about light, love and levity. And I said the, the word levity. And uh, all of a sudden, after that happened, <laughs> all the viewers call themselves the Lovities. They're part of our Lovity squad all around the world. They call me Mr. Lovity. They call this our studio here, Lovity Hall. We broadcast the show uh, in the greater New York area in the United States, uh, between New York and Boston, along the southern New England coast. And uh, we love having all of you here. So if you just joined us for the first time, we welcome you. We welcome you. I know the time changes are crazy, right? But you like springing forward so we get the extra hour of daylight. Looking forward to tonight's episode. Enjoy your dinner, Jim. Thank you very much. And thanks to all of you uh, for joining us, spreading the word. Continue sharing the levity. Tell everybody about the Gym Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. Thank you. Thanks again, Jim. Fabulous show from a Connecticut native. Thank you. Enjoying yourself in beautiful Florida. Rhonda says, thank you, Jim. Awesome interview with Neil. He and I always have a good time when we're together because uh, we've you know, known each other for a long time. And we just, you know, you put a couple of Irishmen in the, in the room and, uh, you know, you have a lot of fun and a lot of, uh, good times. Love, love it to you, Jim. Thanks so much. Julie, thank you as well. Paula says, great. Thank you, Paula. Um, you changed the time tonight in Italy too. You're watching Elena watching in Italy. Welcome from Italy. We love having you here as well. Um, I wish they would stop the time changing, it's hard on everyone. It can be, right? It can be crazy. I know they do it here for the um, the daylight. Um, see you later, another epic show. Thank you very much, Mary, I appreciate that. Yes, the uh, United Kingdom and Ireland, uh, they do their hour tonight. And um, good stuff, good stuff. Becky Burke, great interview, Jim. Love and hugs to Neil, Nicole, and baby Floor. Absolutely. Yep. Ireland changes their time tonight. Jennifer Barry is nice and zen in Allentown, Pennsylvania, USA. I'm hanging out with friends today and tonight. Just wanted to pop in, say hi. Margaret says all the best. Take care, both of you. Thank you very much, Margaret. We love that. Barbara Quinn says blessings. Danielle says thank you so much. Thank you. Adriana says, thanks so much, guys. Stay safe. You as well. Barbara Good says, what a feel-good show. Perfect, Barbara. That's exactly what we do. That's what we love to do. And all the guests always tell us, I usually speak to them later on after the show as well. They all love coming back on the show. Several people have been back and want to come back again. Um, and it's a feel-good show. Inspiring conversations. We do host chat shows where it's me and the viewers. We just did a pop-up show Friday, an afternoon pop-up show, which was really cool, where it was myself as the host and all the lovely viewers uh, chatting. And boy, do we have a lot of fun. So we do pop-up shows. We do on-location shows. We do, uh, thank you, Josie. I appreciate that. Josie Briggs checking in. Victoria Peterson, thank you very much. And Willie and Holland, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, and we will have a nice dinner. <laughs> we are hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I actually have not eaten anything yet today. I was so busy getting this show together for here uh, with my very special guest, uh, Neil Byrne, uh, and then preparing tonight's show with uh, Oscar-winning dancer and actor, 
George Chakiris. Um, awesome, Jim and Neil, Slancha guys. Rhonda, thank you very much. Um, from the Czech Republic, Blanca is here. Blanca, thank you very much for joining us. We do have an international audience here on the Gym Master Show Live. You love Celtic Thunder, of course. They are amazing. Keep following all the great work that they're doing. And Vernon Kelly as well. And uh, thank you very much, Barbara. And thank you. And thank you. Thanks for all the lovity. We love it. And we love all of you who tune in and watch uh, the Gym Master Show live. Really is, um, it really means a lot to me as your host and producer. And uh, we love it. Yes, you can see everything in the archives, over 360 episodes. If you are, because uh, we have guests from all walks of life, but if the, um, if the Irish artists are what you love, uh, Phil Coulter's been on the show. Uh, Ryan Kelly's been on the show. Neil was on. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. And um, Renee Nesbitt from uh, Celtic Woman and more uh, was with us last week for her second visit on the Gym Masters show live. And um, also, let's see, Corner Boy was with us. Oscar Blue was with us. Roy Buckley. Connor McGinty, Damian McGinty, Keith Harkin, Rebecca Harkin. Uh, the Rum Jacks were on our show as well. That's right. Um, one of them was in Ireland. Another was in New Hampshire. Uh, the Rum Jacks were on our show as well, the Irish rock band. And we have uh, some other surprises coming up in a couple of weeks, some more guests that you're going to love. But we are booked with guests all the way till June, which is really amazing. Seven days a week, amazing guests coming on the Gym Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. Let's see who else was on. My dear friend, Sir James Galway, was on live from Switzerland with his lovely wife, Lady Jean Galway. And they performed live, too. Paul Byron was a guest on our show. Uh, Chloe Agnew was a guest on our show as well. We had a lot of fun. Orla Fallon was a wonderful guest around the holiday time on our show as well. Nathan Carter, of course, you know, Nathan Carter, uh, Nathan Carter was a guest on our show as well. Uh, so you can see that episode. All these episodes are in the archives on our YouTube channel at Jim Masters TV. Michael Lundra was here on the show as well from Canada. Luke McMaster was on the show as well. Mm -hmm. And um, Bernadette, thank you very much. Nice to see you here, and uh, as always, hope you're doing well. You're very welcome, Cheryl. I appreciate that, and uh, nice to see you here as well, Elena. Thank you, Jim, for the lovely chat with Neil. You're a great interviewer. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, that means a great deal. Um, so you can check out some of the other, um, yes, the High Kings as well. Darren Holden was a guest on the show. He's a dear friend. Uh, Brian Dunphy was also a guest on the show from the High Kings. You can see those episodes here on the show on um, our YouTube channel. And the High Kings are going to be with us on um, April 25th. That's right. All of them together, the High Kings are going to be with us. I interviewed them many times on public television here in the United States, and they are coming on. Darren was a guest, and Brian was a guest separately, and you can see those episodes on our YouTube channel at Gym Masters TV. Um, but they're going to be coming back real soon in April, so keep watch for that. And then all the other amazing guests that we have on the Gym Masters Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. It's really, really cool. So um, enjoy binge watching the episodes. Hopefully you'll join us again live. Uh, we love our viewers from all around the world. We think it's really, you know, an amazing community that we've created here on the Gym Master Show Live. Everybody's welcome from all around the world. Um, this is a very open and fun and welcoming place. We always learn something new. We always have a good time together and um, inspiring conversations, amazing guests, and lots of light love, levity, and lovity, as we call it, our famous lovity. You're going to eat, and I'm going to eat. And um, you are very, very welcome. Thank you, Amy, as well. And uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. But again, here's a couple of things we always do at the end of our show. And again, it was really cool having Neil, my fantastic friend, Neil Byrne, 
joining us as my special guest for the second time here on the Gym Masters Show Live. There he is with Nicole and Fleur, and of course, he's with Celtic Thunder, which we know so well, and Byrne and Kelly. There we are. Um, sometimes when I'm with the guys, people come up and say, are you part of the group? <laughs> Must be an Irish thing. Uh, there we are actually with uh, Emmett Cahill and uh, Ryan Kelly and myself in the middle. And there's Neil and there's Damian McGinty. And this is a really loving shot with George Donaldson, of course. This was in the studio when George was with us, um, in the television studio here in the States. This is when all the gang was with us. Uh, we did a national public television special that I had the great honor and pleasure of uh, co-hosting. And you have Colum Keegan on the left there and Damian McGinty. Uh, Colum was also a guest on our show. You can see that episode. Emmett O'Hanlon was also a guest on our show. You can see that episode on our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. But there's Colum and Damian and Neil and myself and my longtime friend Lee, co-host, and Emmett O'Hanlon, Keith Harkin, Ryan Kelly. Uh, some of the original is there. And again, this goes back in time with Keith Harkin and Neil. And... Um, Good times, good times over the years, too. And uh, one of the first times we actually met when they came to the States, and I was interviewing them on American public television, PBS, for uh, for their special, Celtic Thunder's uh, newest special. Actually, their very first special. There's Keith and Neil as well. I know you guys love them. And uh, you can see all the past episodes with the gang uh, and so many others, so many other incredible guests here on our series. So we're going to wrap. We're going to have chicken tonight, chicken and rice. Yes. We'll see you later on. Good to see you, Marty, as well. Loved the show. See you for tonight's show. Bon appetito, as we say in Italy. Absolutely, Elena. It's so wonderful to have you here as well. We will see you guys uh, in just a couple of hours. I'll be back. This is one of those double lovety weekends, two episodes of the Gym Masters Show Live. Um, as we always say, don't forget to smile. Yes, and don't forget to share the lovity, everybody all around the world. Don't forget to share the lovity. And we talked a lot with Neil about the ocean. I'm here along the Atlantic Ocean and in the Northeastern United States. The ocean for me is big. Swim it, surf it, boogie board it, sail it, kite board it, um, kite surfing, sail it, swim in it, float it, walk along it. The ocean is one of my Zen places. Love the ocean. Uh, so find your Zen place. Of course, the number one for me is uh, time well spent with loving family and friends. That's the most Zen. And then cycling and music and tennis and writing and uh, the ocean. And of course, my uh, work in television and radio and stage on air and on camera, as well as behind the scenes all these years on television, radio and stage uh, here in the United States. And uh, love that. That's another Zen place for me when I'm doing work that I love. Do what you love and love what you do. Very, very important. You can find the Gym Masters Show live every single day. That's right. Seven days a week. <laughs> and today we're doing two episodes for you. Double lovity. Double lovity. Um, we'll be back at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And again, we encourage you to um, share some lovity and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would love that. And click that notification bell. And true. One of my master's mantras, I've been doing master's mantras on Facebook for years, and now we do on the YouTube channel. You can also see these uh, quick verbal and visual inspirational videos that we do on the YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. They're called master's mantras. Here's one of them. If you have your health, if you are happy, if you are loved, if you have, then you have three of life's greatest gifts. Absolutely do. And uh, I think we talked a lot about that today here on the show with Neil Byrne. And uh, we tend to talk about that a lot here on the show um, with our audience and with all of our guests. So you can check out all those great episodes coming up tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. He starred in West Side Story, George Chakiris. He starred with uh, Rita Moreno. He will be here live. There he is accepting his Academy Award 
Uh, he was also, again, in so many other incredible epic performances. And then tomorrow we're back 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. You know the legendary comedian Bob Hope, right? Well, Martha Bolton and Linda Hope, his daughter, wrote this amazing book, Dear Bob. And uh, there she's going to be, Martha is going to be a guest on our show tomorrow to talk about the life of Bob Hope and how he uh, had correspondence and put on all those incredible shows for the GIs during World War II. That's going to be absolutely amazing. We thank my buddy, Neil Byrne, for joining us here on the show as well. And I just want to read this poem again that came in from one of our lovely viewers yesterday when we did our Friday afternoon pop-up show. And it was really a beautiful, beautiful thing for her to share. The world needs more love, more levity to go around, showing more compassion, more goodness can be found. Jim Masters is the perfect host with a heart made of pure gold, creates a wonderful space where kindness is true and bold, spreading love and levity, creating levity for all, positive vibes and conversation can be found in Levity Hall. Welcoming to all his guests, positivity is front and center, international audience of levities makes this show a proven winner. And we thank uh, Amy for sending that in. That is really, really a beautiful, beautiful poem uh, for our show, which we received yesterday. And I think that's really nice. Check out a couple of comments here. You love Bob Hope. That's going to be amazing tomorrow. And um, yes, Ryan, Ryan's going to be coming back. We will say hi to Lin Lin for you as well. And yay. And um, yeah, you got it. Absolutely. And uh, thanks for all these great comments. You guys are the best. Have a nice dinner and dessert. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, cool stuff. Cool stuff. And Emmett O'Hanlon. Yes, if you did not see that episode, go back in the archives. We have a whole episode with my phenomenal friend, Emmett O'Hanlon. You're making stuffed shells for dinner. That sounds good. Uh, hi to both of you. Miss the concerts. Hope Ireland climbs in on it and gets the vaccine soon. I agree. I agree. You guys are the best. My stomach is actually rumbling. I'm getting hungry. There's Emmett. Emmett is here. Woohoo. Love you on the show, man. There's Emmett O'Hanlon. I was just talking about him just seconds ago. Good to see you, Emmett. We'll have to have you back on the show too. Neil Byrne was just on seconds ago. Mairead Nesbitt was just on seconds ago. Uh, if you didn't see that cool episode we did with Emmett, he was great. He's an awesome friend too. And Emmett was on the show uh, just a couple months ago, and uh, we'll have him back. He'll keep us updated on his uh, career and his passions and love him when he's on as well. So uh, good to see you, my friend. Cheers, Emmett. Of course, you know Emmett, originally from Celtic Thunder, but uh, he's got a brilliant career that he's carved out for himself. Uh, absolutely. So we always have a good time here on the Gym Masters Show Live. You can find us. We'll be back again with Oscar-winning uh, dancer and actor, the one and only George Takiris from West Side Story and so much more. That's going to be your epic episode tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. One last thing we do before we scoot out and have some dinner and get ready for tonight's show we say, don't forget to relax. Uh, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to uh, love one another and uh, love yourself, not in an egotistical, narcissistic way. Just uh, love yourself and remind yourself that you are valuable and that you are welcome and um, you are invited to the table. And in this case, you're always invited to our show to join us. So relax, breathe. And as we were talking with Neil Byrne, our buddy, about... Um, Surround yourself with some of the constants in life, the ocean, nature, family, the things that really matter. Uh, Neil was sharing and very open about sharing some of that with us uh, here on the show. And uh, Emmett, again, good to see you. Love you and the show, man. Love you back. And I'm glad you love the show, my friend. Um, yes, I'm getting hungry. Can you tell? <laughs> my stomach is actually rumbling. Uh, lovely poem, isn't it? Uh, Jim, thank you. I love the interview with Neil. You did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Yes, Emmett. Cool. We will have you back. Let's chat and we'll have you back and you can update us on some cool things that you're doing. That's a uh, great friend, Emmett O'Hanlon, joining us here. Mary Bishop, love the poem. Very beautiful poem. Elena in Italy. Thank you very much, Elena. We love you as well. So 
I think that's a wrap officially. I know it takes us 20 minutes to wrap our shows because we always have so much fun, but uh, <laughs> we are going to wrap. And uh, one more comment here from one of our guests who you guys know well with that Irish theme, the wonderful Sir James Galway. Hello, Jim. I just want to tell you how much pleasure Jeannie and I got out of appearing on your show when it was it was uh, possible to do that. I hope in the future we'll be able to do it again and take part in a great show. That was an amazing episode when Sir James Galway and Lady Jean Galway, uh, more dear friends of mine, uh, popped on and we had an amazing episode around holiday time, Christmas time. If you didn't see it, you can see it on our YouTube channel at Jim Masters TV. So we love you all. We think the world of you. We always have an amazing time. Somebody else that joined us tonight or today or whenever you're watching this, George Burns here. He sends his love, legendary comedian George Burns. <laughs> and all of our cast of characters. We got Gilligan from Gilligan's Island, Silver the Lab. When we were on a TV shoot in Europe, we picked him up. Jimmy the Clown and the I Dreamy Genie bottle. Genie's in there. And that big panda, Linlin, is on the other side of the room. Hopefully, we'll get Linlin back in here. So, love you all. Thanks, gang. You guys are really amazing. And we appreciate all the lovity. And um, we will have uh, more of it coming up tonight. And then we're back tomorrow. Thanks, Jim. Enjoy the day. See you later, Kathleen. My pleasure. Love you all. And Julie, love you too, Jim. XOXO. Thank you very much. And uh, Julie, good to have you here. Bye-bye, Jim and everyone else. Soraya, thank you very much as well. Good to see you here. I am your host, Jim Masters, thanking you for your time this time till next time. We love when you guys join us here. We have so much fun and we always learn something about life together too, which is really one of the cruxes of this show uh, to be inspiring and connecting and creative and have a good time. And with that, I say au revoir, sayonara, cheers, ciao, not goodbye. We'll say see you later. We'll be back tonight at 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific with much more fun on the Gym Masters Show. Yes, ta-ta, gang. We have to include that one in too. Juanita in South Africa, ta-ta. We will see you momentarily in just a couple of hours. We'll have a good time tonight. All right, gang. Take care. Be well. Thanks for joining us in this episode of the Gym Masters Show Live. We'll see you again soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.